Hello all and welcome to the last part of Super 7 Ninja Turtles Wave 1. We already looked at Raphael, we looked at the Foot Soldier, we looked at the awesome Baxter Stockman, and now we are going to finish off Wave 1 with Splinter. Um, yep, uh, interesting lineup for Wave 1 there. I think it works. Uh, Super 7 did do something that I didn't like when they were announcing all of these. And they kind of put all the turtles in each, like, first of the first four waves. So Raphael was only in wave one. Uh, Leonardo was only wave two. Um, so on, so on. You basically got one turtle per wave. They did eventually announce that you could get all four turtles at once. Um, so, you know, they kind of rectified that at the end for anybody who didn't. Uh, or, like, you know, but it, it was kind of one of those things where if you got wave one... And wave two, but then you missed out wave three, you know, and then you got four. Like, you'd be missing a turtle, like, basically. So, that's kind of the way they uh, went about it, but they rectified that. So, uh, yeah, but this will top off that wave one. I think it's a pretty good lineup. Um, I think it's a hell of a wave one uh, so far. So, hopefully Splinter continues that, and we end up with a complete four out of four sweep. Um, four game sweep. We got that brown box. Get him out. And there we go. He's got that. We got the like splinter rat face on the front there. Yep. Cool. And here we are. Alrighty, Splinter. Awesome. Same thing, same kind of box, same style and everything. We got the back here. The good guy leader, okay. Um, Funny enough, uh, the day I'm, oh, uh, I know the video will come up later, but the day I am actually opening this is, uh, the day NECA just announced that the, they're releasing that, like, two-pack of movie turtle figures, uh, with, like, the little splinter that jumps on Shredder. Um, I'm not gonna get that, but it's pretty cool to have, like, I guess. Yeah, so cool. Let's just open up this guy. Okay, there we go. He's got tape all over the place. Sorry. Sorry for the, um, like, dead silence there. He's got some tape all over. Okay. I'm just cutting off the plastic tines. I think I got them. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Apologies for the dead air there. I was trying to get all the ties like I did with the Baxter Stockman just to make this a little bit more smooth. Um, so, over here, we have our, like, classic weapons rack, alternate hands, and one of my favorite accessories in all of these. Uh, you'll see that here in a minute. So, we kind of have flat hands. The detail on that's great. Like, the fur and everything. Looks great. 
There's the other one. Uh, he comes with weapon holding hands already equipped. Uh, but here's like an open hand. Kind of like a uh, hand. There's the other one. And close fist sedan. Here is our classic weapons rack. And my favorite accessory in this. We get a baby turtle. I love it. Tiny baby turtle. Okay, let's start getting all the splinter stuff out here. Uh, same as before. I think every figure... No, Stockman didn't have them, did he? The uh, throwing stars. Same thing, you get two of them. He comes with three arrows. The detail on those is really good. You can even see like the shading in there and everything. Second one. Third one. And with that comes a bow. We have his cane. And then we have like a... I think it's like a steaming coffee cup. Or it's like being thrown and spilt. Either way. Cool. And lastly, we have Splinter. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I forgot to pop this out. Uh, he's got like his like, um, it's like a nightstick or a tonfa, I think they call it. And here we go, Splinter. Looking jacked. I like it. I think he looks pretty good. It's got that kind of um, gray scaling on the top. We have it over here, down here on the chest too. Kind of gives him that old wise master look. The details on the wraps, the feet, the hair. Everything is just sculpted so well. Same articulation. Um... Well, I think he does. He might be the first one that doesn't have the, um... There it is. I was going to say the knee joint. It was just really tight. Um, but he's, he's got it. He's got the knee joint. The knee swivel. I like it. Pretty good. His tail moves. All kinds of different directions. Not only that, but the other part of his tail also moves. So, like, the... Uh, first half moves and the back half moves. Awesome, awesome. He does come with the pink cloth robe, however. Uh, I don't do Howard Finkel impressions, but that's what that was. Um, I could do it, I just... I'm not going to now. Um, he, uh, he comes with the uh, hard plastic robe, if you want to switch it out. I think that's pretty cool. And there we go, our Master Splinter. Now, big test, will he stand on his own? Whoa. The answer to that test is yes. Much like the Master Splinter Toy Biz figure, his tail will prop him up nicely. 
Um, so there you go. Uh, yeah, that's our Master Splinter. I like it. I think it's great. I think we hit four for four on these figures. Um, I really, and I can't express this enough, I really like this line a lot more than I did the New Japan line, that's for sure. And that, I'm, I'm, I'm including the Andre in that kind of wrestling figure realm. Uh, and I gotta give the edge to the, the Ninja Turtles Wave 1 over the Thundercats Wave 1. Thundercats was close, but the fact that like we had to get a pack to fix some errors is a big thing. Uh, Panthro not having calf joints was just or the calf swivel, the knee swivel, was just so weird. Um, I think that one just had too many quirks for it to be part, to be as good. This, though, I think Wave 1 of the Super 7 Turtles, 10 out of 10. For what they are, they're supposed to be based off the original toys. I think they nailed it. Um, I'd give Wave 1 of the Ninja Turtles 10 out of 10. I think it's great. Uh, like, I, you know... I don't really score toys a lot or anything, but I have been with Super 7 just because of the hit and miss nature of them. Uh, but yeah, I think they got four for four. I think it's a clean sweep on the first wave. Um, and I do have the second wave ready to go and unbox. Uh, but we are going to delve back into some other things first. Probably do a little bit more Masters of the Universe Origins. Then maybe go into wave two of the Turtles or some Marvel Legends. We'll see. Um... I got a lot to explain on the Marvel Legends, like what my plans are. That's why I'm kind of putting it off. Um, but yeah, uh, after this, we'll probably go back into some Masters of the Universe. And then after that, maybe take a look at Wave 2 of the Turtles. I like it. I do. I think these are great. Um, I just, I think this is one of my favorite accessories of all time, Baby Turtle. The NECA playset, the accessory kit, came with all four baby turtles. That was pretty cool, based on the movie. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's our Master Splinter. I like it a lot. Um, I'd highly recommend these. If you, if you want an updated version of the original toys, um, I say go for these. I think they're worth it. These are totally worth it. Um, the NECAs are great. The NECA movie figures, excellent. The NECA cartoon figures, excellent. But if you want, like, the nostalgia of those original toys, then Super 7. Um, yeah. This is great. I'm glad they're releasing more obscure characters, too. Um, like Muckman and uh, Wave 2 has Mutagen Man. So I am so happy for stuff like that, based on the original toys. Um, yeah. There's Master Splinter, though. I've been rambling a little bit here at the end. Uh, I'll go ahead and kind of end it here. That ends, that's, uh, I'll end it here, easy for me to say. That ends Wave 1 of the Super 7 Ultimate Ninja Turtles. Um, later down the line, we'll look at Wave 2. Uh, but I'll catch you guys then. Thanks.